Hello everyone, and welcome to the very first video of our Let's Play of Animal Crossing for the GameCube. I hope you're all doing well. So, I skipped the intro. We named our character and our town. And we have a house. But we do not own it. We are actually in debt to the owner who happens to be the shopkeeper in this town. And his name is Tom Nook. And in order to pay our debt, we are working for him. And today we begin our first day of work. So let's find the shop. the post office. I believe he said the shop was located at grid A4. Yes, there it is. Well, finally you arrive. What took you so long? I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Only kidding. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. If you must know, I suppose, I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes. So let us equip. Our uniform. Okay. So our uniform is equipped. That's better, yes. You look like you were born to wear that uniform. Now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bells you owe on your house. Hurrah. First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is too dull not charming at all. It's just not an ideal sort of shopping experience. Mm. People like shopping in areas that are clean and well kept, so I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me yes. Okay, so... flowers. Very carefully. In this game, if you run over the flowers too often, they will wilt and die. Okay. And let's put some back here. Somewhere we won't be walking too often. And I believe 
leave he gave us a tree. It's three trees it looks like. Three saplings. Let's put another one over here. Just why not right there? And There as well. And I believe that is everything. Yes. Okay, let's see what he has to say. So, did you make it look a little nicer out there? Gave the grounds some charming character. Mm -hmm. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I won't bother asking how you chose where to plant everything. After all, I'm not the one who will get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. I know. Now, let's just see here. That little chore was worth, oh, let's call it about 80 bells. Yes. Quite generous, I know. About your wages. I'll just keep them as payment towards your mortgage. Mm. Now, what should I have you do next? Wait just a moment. Something just struck me. Susie, you just moved to Slidell. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk, have you? going to give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourselves to everyone in town, hmm? Go on now. And don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. That would show some class. You can probably find him wandering around near the wishing well. I'll see you later, yes. ourselves to everyone in town, much like Stardew Valley. Here is our first resident of Slidell, Cobb. Hey, how's it going? My name is Cobb. I live just around the corner. So, what's your name? Juicy. That's your name? What a ridiculous name. I agree. Still, it'll be real hard to forget. Hot dog. Hmm. I'm not sure if that is a male or female green pig creature. I suppose we should start very upper left hand corner and work our way down. Animal Crossing is one of my favorite games. I was about 11 when it came out and I spent one summer playing this game just about every day, and on a rainy day, this was my favorite activity. There's some more, more oranges. If 
you don't know, um, each town in Animal Crossing produces a different fruit. We could have gotten peaches or cherries or apples, but we got oranges. Even though it's snowing, the trees are bearing fruit. Okay. We should be running into another townsperson. Controller sounds aren't too loud. Hello. It's a cat named Pearl. I can hear you perfectly well without you raising your voice like that, kitten. So the first two residents we've met have been rude, actually. Anyway, but regardless, you say you're juicy. Ah, uh, what a childish name. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm Pearl. Well, aren't you going to tell me how lovely my name is? You know, there may be hope for you yet, kitten. So, so far we've met a jerk and a narcissist. I'm not sure I like this town. Surely this goat creature will be friendlier. Sven. Wow, what, what is it? Don't scare me like that. Sheesh, I don't even know you. You just go around scaring total strangers. That's mean, bud. I'm Sven. Nice to meet you. But next time, don't scare me like that, Juicy. He's alright. He looks angry. This chick. Twiggy. Hello. Can I help you, or were you just captivated by my beauty, cheapers? It's okay, I'm just teasing you. Of course, that's not to say I don't have a lot of admirers, cheapers. Anyway, I'm Twiggy. Who are you? Right, juicy. Nice to meet you, cheapers. So those two were a little friendlier. I think Sven is my favorite so far. There's another cat. Kiki. Hello. You don't look familiar. By any chance, do I know you? Kitty cat. I can't remember. You have to tell me what's your name, kitty cat. Hmm, juicy. I'm sorry. I still just can't remember where we've met. I promise I'll remember you next time we meet, okay, kitty cat? What? This is the first time we've met? Well, I feel silly. I shouldn't jump to conclusions like that. But still, I'm glad we've met now. Stop by again. Okay. There's the mayor. Tell me something. Who 
do you respect the most? Well, the obvious answer is my grandpa. Well, now, have my wise and old looks inspired respect? You may be young, but you have a keen eye. Tell me, what's your name? Juicy. Well, that's nice. It's different. Your parents must be proud. My name is Dortimer. I happen to be the mayor here in Slidell. Yepper. Quite the big job. You seem like a decent sort. Whenever there's a holiday or an event going on in town, why don't you come see me? I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Amber, I surely will. Okay. I've forgotten how to pull up. a way to know if we've met everyone in town. myself. little bee coming to and fro. Commendable behavior. <coughs> Tell me, how can Officer Copper be of assistance? Nothing. Is that so? Well, let's be careful out there. I'm going to assume that I've met everyone in town. So, let's see what Mr. Nook oops, has us do now. Yeah. 
edge of the cliff. Here's the library. Blathers. Who and Zwack. So very sleepy. Oh dear me. A thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um owl, yes. Yes, well by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Nope, nothing. Ah oh, well who hmm, yes. Very well then. Actually, oh, this is terribly embarrassing. To be honest, we have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really. What we have here, when you cut to the quick, is a rat lar rather large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, open around the clock, and gladly accept donations from residents of Slidell at all times. We do appreciate your support. person I can think of. Would be the other tailor at Sven's house. Actually, did I explore up here? So, Pearl's house. Let's talk to the other one. Oh. I just remembered. We haven't met one of my favorite characters. His name is Booker, and he works at the police station. Cracks me up. Oh, uh, sure, yes. Every item here is lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them, the items. You can take anything, I think. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, uh, sure. Mirrors lost. I mean, we don't know who owns them. The items. These, uh, the items in question are up for grabs. You can take anything, I think. Oh, that's a lily pad table. So, would that be yours? Right. Oh yes, yes of course. You can take it of course. That's fine, go ahead. It shouldn't be a problem, I think. Oh that's a mod top. So would that be yours? That's right. Oh yes, yes of course. You can take it of course. It shouldn't be a problem. Looks alright. Thank you for your 
stopping by. Oh, there's a map. Pearl, Sven, Twiggy, Kiki, Oxford. We have not met Oxford. And that should be the last resident. change with the times, yes. Go on with your hip hipness. Wear whatever you like. But but you can't wear anything that might make my customers feel uncomfortable, yes. On this point I won't budge. That's just the way society works, you understand. Sometimes you do obey the rules, yes. So, did you meet everyone in town? Quite a motley crew, yes. But variety is the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Slidell, you'll never fit in, you understand. But never fear. I have a good feeling about you. Mm. Shall I have you do next? What have we here? So my pockets are full. So let's drop off the things I've acquired. space. to pay Cobb a visit. Already good afternoon to you. I'll say howdy just as often as you like. Hot dog. Hey, 
so what can I do for you, Juicy? Delivery. Give. Whoa, what's up with this? What are you doing delivering stuff? You lose a bet. Oh, so that's the story. You're in a bit of a bind, huh? That's the way it goes in the big old real world. Gotta get by somehow. Don't worry about it. Tell you what, how's about I hook you up with this rad eagle pole as a little housewarming gift? Hey, it's no big thing, baby. I'd be brutal, or it'd be brutal to live in an empty house, hot dog. Besides, you can use it to deck out your place. You know, move it around, see where it fits best. Oh, I do it all the time. Helps me stay buff. You just face your furniture, hold the A button, and move it around. Yeah, you can push it, pull it, rotate it, whatever. Don't bench press anything. I hurt my back that way. What was I saying? Oh yeah. You can also open doors and drawers and stow stuff away. Just stand in front of the furniture and press the A button. You can turn on the radio the same way. It's loads of fun finding sweet furniture, arranging it, making your room look really cool. It's awesome, no joke. You're looking at me like I'm nuts, but you'll see. You'll get into it more once you get time off, hot dog. So we received an eagle pole. Whatever that is. a totem pole with an eagle at the top. Interesting. So let's see what Mr. Nook has us do now. Welcome back, Worker B. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job, so I figure that earns you, oh, say, 230 bells. Not bad wages. Mm. Now, on to your next task. that you say it's too difficult to try and find things without a map. Honestly, kids these days, and their constant complaints. Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, here's a map. Press the X button to look at it serve your needs just fine. Your next job is to write some copy for a direct mailing. You know, sort of a personal advertisement. <coughs> I want you to send it to Kiki, who lives in an acre somewhere in row E. It's just good business. Kiki is a very loyal customer. So this is a notice of a special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just leave it up to you, Juicy. But try to make it exciting. Oh, 
oh, and might, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Juicy, who works for me, yes. You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes. You'll find the post office in Acre A1. Now, hurry back. So, from that, I gather we are writing a letter to Kiki in notification of a sale. So let's see if we can write. stuff you get. It's great. Yes. Not a bad letter, if I say so myself. Good day. How can I help you? Mail a letter. Letter to Kiki from Juicy. Yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Oh, really? Come back anytime. Okay. So that was easy enough. Send a letter. Mm. Good job. It took you longer than I'd have liked, so I'll have to talk you a bit. How does 130 bells sound? But I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. Oh yes, well, I uh, haven't actually prepared the next package. I need you to deliver. Mm. I'm a bit behind. It would be a waste for you to hang, to hang around here and wait for me. So why don't you go help out the villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me. But not much better, yes. Just be sure to come back here after a bit. Mm. Okay. So I think I'm going to end this video here. This is kind of a, an experimental video. So if you're still here, let me know what you thought. Um, let me know if the controller sounds were too loud, or even if you just enjoyed it. I love, I love reading your comments. Um, so as, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.